I'm Amy from Digital Dog Designs. When my sewing table is opened up, it has this empty space on the back side of it, and I have been wanting to find a bookcase that will fit inside the opening there that I can store my craft books on. I came across this wooden crate at an auction, and I got it for five dollars. It is just the right size to fit under the sewing cabinet, so I am going to do a makeover on it and turn it into a bookcase. I can use the broken board there for the shelf in the bookcase. So my first step is going to be to take off the broken board and then to clean it up. I'm going to use some Murphy's Oil Soap Wood Cleaner. The Murphy's Oil Soap is a concentrate, so I watered it down and then I took the packing crate and the cleaner outside and I scrubbed down the inside and the outside of the crate. I love the markings on this crate. It looks like it originated in Colorado and was shipped to New York and then it was shipped from New York to Missouri. After I finish washing this I'm going to leave it outside and let it thoroughly dry. Then we took a putty knife and scraped off some of the wash globs of paint. Then we used a handheld power sander on some of the painted areas. Then we used a medium grit sanding block and then a fine grit sanding block to sand all over the entire crate. I wanted to be careful to not sand off all of the writing so that the box still has some character. Just wanted to get off the worst areas of paint and marker. The next step was to cut the shell. We used the part of the front of the crate that had address written on it to give the shelf some character. And then we cut braces for the shelf from the rest of the front of the crate. Then we used a book to determine how tall we wanted the bottom shelf to be. In my dad's stash we found these old rusty nails to use to attach the shelf. We nailed the support boards onto the inside of the box for the shelf to sit upon. In order to make it fit under my sewing cabinet, we also had to remove the two boards that were on the top of the crate and cut down the side boards just a little bit. Now I'm going to apply a coat of clear satin varnish. After the first coat of varnish is dry, I will use some steel wool on the box and then repeat with another coat of varnish. Thanks for watching. Be sure to click the like button and subscribe below. I'll see you next time. Bye.